All right, so what I want to do uh, for a minute is talk about masking tape. Uh, painter's masking tape has really low tack and is good enough to hold on at least once. I've even used electrical tape to good effect in some very good circumstances there. But generally this is just two basic uh, sizes of painter's tape. But I also have this quarter inch. This isn't Pactra. That looks like this stuff here. And this is probably like six bucks for a full roll, which is not bigger, much bigger than this. And this was a generic art brand in a few different sizes that was like half the price and it sticks just as well. So I've spray painted the middle here. And what I'm hoping is that this piece, the rest of the paint, hadn't been done in a really long time. Actually, what I have to do next is spray the inside, so I'm not going to pull the tape off this. I'm just going to mask to the next line in once this is dry. And th I painted this an hour ago, so I'm not going to want to touch this until at least tomorrow, if not later. And that's because over here, a day after uh, I spray painted these sides for the masking, I went down, put the mask on, and as I did, I scraped away a lot of the paint on this side, which I didn't think much of initially because it's going to be painted over anyway. But over on this side, I put the piece of tape down over the entire piece, rubbed my thumbnail into it, took the razor blade, sliced along the edges, and then pulled away, and all the rest of this pulled away as well. So I'm thinking... uh 24 hours was not enough for this to fully set and because of all the damage that's there anyway chances are when I pull this tape I'm just gonna pull paint color again so what I'm gonna do is repaint this entire piece it's definitely a good exercise for the masking but uh there we go yeah I would have had to have painted this all over anyway again. Which means I may as well pull off this side as well. I do have some vinyl masks that I'll be uh, showing from two different companies, I think, aftermarket kit parts. And we'll see how those stack up to uh, using regular tape, such as this. And we'll go from there. So a lot of the parts at this point can't be done until the painting is done so they can all be set in place for their permanent gluing. We're getting that close to everything now and uh, this is really going to start flying together. Now this side would have been relatively safe. It's still a little scuffed up. Actually I scratched this side up a lot with my nail. I don't know if the light's going to catch that at all. But that's one thing to really be careful about and one reason why I delay as long as possible when painting parts is that I don't want the surfaces to be damaged. And uh, this was done within the first hour or so of it being technically dry and clearly that's just too much damage going on. So that has to be repainted anyway. So what I'll be doing today is just applying some basic tape masks to where they need to go in this particular case it's this entire inner area plus the top two tiers there similar for the freezing wall just a couple spots going across the top and then I can do the main body paint on this and this will be all done and painted I've got fiber optic to run up top here uh, I may cut this out here which is actually a light behind it the general alarm light goes there and there's a whole bunch of fiber optics and LEDs going in this area these are really the main pieces coming up. Here's another one. I'm going to paint this a simple black first for the base and then silver up the base of this and then the ball itself goes red. There is indeed a seam going across it so I'm going to leave that there but I'll be facing it to a better side so uh, the worst of the seam is not visible. And then each one of these holes here is going to get a thread of fiber optics to uh, light up well, what else would you do with fiber optics? And one last look at painting over here. 
I figured I'd just throw down some brown to see how it went, but clearly this is the main reason why you need the primer stuff properly is that once you get into top colors like this, there goes my air compressor. And I can't rush this for curing, so I can't just go and spray another coat on immediately. And uh, simply base coating it again with a black and then a white would have been the best solution. So there's one good reason not to uh, get anxious and go in order. Alright, so one of the big disappointments about painting, or especially masking, is that when you pull your mask off, you'll have a little paint leaking, basically. But another great disappointment is when you pull your mask off and it pulls all your paint with it. So I had wanted to protect this area here, and I don't really care about this outside, whether that pulled off or not. However, when it chips like this, that can be a problem, because this shape is probably going to remain on the outer coat as well. And then, of course, when I pulled the tape off of this piece, I ripped all that right there. So, even though I like the paint job, tape job on this one, so it's already peeling up. Just the edges, unfortunately.